Oh, is that, am I up? Oh, okay, hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sneaky. I'm gonna let my couch do the introductions for themselves. All right, my name's Amawaka. I'm Skateman222. I'm Scrubblord. All right, yeah, so I'm Sneaky. Uh, this is High Hell. It's gonna be a very pink game, so I hope you like pink. Uh, I got my bear over here. Uh, it's gonna help me, you know, not be nervous. And uh, we're just gonna go for it. So three, Give it to two, Scrubblord. one, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Keep it right, All right here. Woo. All right, so this is High Hell. We're going to go through an, like a quick little tutorial section. We learn how to break down doors. We learn how to crouch. Uh, we're not going to kill enemies because killing enemies is pretty slow. So here we're going to do a nice quick strat. Uh, we kill stretch and we just jump off, and that's a nice quick, uh, quick level. And a lot of the game is going to be like this. It's going to be like a really fast-paced game. There's going to be a lot of shooting. There's going to be a lot of death. And there's going to be a lot of pink, so <laughs> that's good. Um, yeah, High Hell is pretty interesting. Uh, it's like pretty precision aiming game, but like a lot of it's just muscle memory, knowing where to place your uh, cursor. Like not like that, but I st might still make it. Nice. Oh god. Okay, that's a hard level. That is uh, hard level. That's, that's really good though. Good job. Yeah, knowing how to place your uh, your cursor and just like knowing how far you have to be to pick up certain uh, items. So like right there, I just picked up a monkey because I got to save some monkeys. Uh, so that they don't go to Professor Meth, so we can turn them into uh, crazy killing monkeys that we're going to see in the next level. Every, so, there's a boss fight every five levels. Yeah, exactly. So we got Professor Meth over here. You got to shoot, got to shoot him, and then shoot these like little towers over on the side and break them, and then he takes four hits. And now we're at mission six. So in total, there are 21 missions, uh, and then a boss at the end. Go. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I missed. missed it. Oh, so no. in this in this mission, we have to like break these uh, little busts, these uh, statues of the boss. Uh, we have to get three of them. And every mission has like its own main mission that you have to complete, and then a bunch of side missions and a couple of like other little statistics that you can uh, bump up. So unfortunately, we didn't get the 100% uh, incentive, so we don't get to show off like burning the money and killing all the enemies. Uh, but we do get to show off the main missions. So we got mission seven. Uh, this is where we see the dogs for the first time. The dogs are very fast. They like to attack very fast. And we also get to see this big dude that's like a chain gun guy. Uh, he shoots really fast if you don't kill him, uh, like immediately. And now we're at this really quick level, except uh, we have to take a detour because there was an incentive <laughs> where I get to show off my face. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> so get ready for this because I picked the most ridiculous picture I could find. Uh, there you go. You oh, paid uh, fifteen hundred dollars for that, Woo! Nice. <laughs> and all of it went to a very good cause. So, big congratulations to yourselves. Beautiful. And we're gonna continue. Uh, mission nine. Uh, can you take this one, Imawaka? Um So this level is pretty hard. He's gonna just basically he's gonna shoot the minimum amount of guys he can, so he can put a bomb on the statue Ooh. and just jump off the ledge. Yeah. He shot more than he had to there. Actually, he was playing it a little safe. Uh, basically, some of these. A bo uh, bosses. Some of these uh, enemies are like godlike at some point, and then sometimes they have the worst aim possible. So they could shoot banisters, yeah. they could shoot each other, but every now and then they just hit you 100% of the time, and your life is just bad. Um, this is Beelzebot. Beelzebot is one of those bosses that like gives people a hard time because people think you have to aim at the face, but if you aim at the face, he like waves his face and it blinks black and white, uh, and you can't shoot him, so you just gotta gotta like aim at his kneecaps. And now we're going to see, oh god, that, that's a death. <laughs> I forgot to mention I was going to donate $10 per death. Um, and you can see these managers paint little cute pictures because they don't actually do their jobs. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, $10 a death. Uh, hopefully we don't do, die too much, but also I hope we do so that we give a lot of money to some people that need it. Um, and yeah, mission, mission 11. Nice. <laughs> I'm telling you, this game's really fast. The yeah, scene flies by. Yeah. So mission 12, not much different uh, from the other ones. Uh, but we are going to get to a really hard one um, in a second. Mission 13 is probably the hardest or second hardest level in the game in both any percent and 100 percent just because there's so much. So I'm going to try to concentrate here. Uh, Oh god, he ran away. Oh no. <laughs> uh, close. 
Yeah, that was almost the end of it. Uh, there are way too many enemies at the top of, uh, of the like scaffolding, and uh, we don't shoot anywhere near enough of them, just because they're all like in really tough places to get to. And then we have uh, that monkey, a dog, and a chain gun guy to deal with, but we got it. So. Nice. Nice. So I'm going to go for a crazy hard strat here. Oh, oh. oh let's try it again. <laughs> Basically, there's, so a, close. there's a prop jump here uh, with this black box, um, and it can like push you on top of this building over here to the side, and then you can burn the flag, but it's not very easy to get. I'll try it like two more times, and then I'll continue and do it the proper way. That's really hard. There's also, because right above him right there, there's a lip on the building, and it's actually stopping him from yeah, it's not happening. moving up. So. Oh, well. So now we're going to get chased by a manager, which is really creepy. And oh, no, <laughs> I did that platforming very wrong. Um, yeah, uh, there are a lot of levels where, like, there's way too much going on. And the best way to beat them is just to, like, kill as few enemies as possible. Um, but sometimes it doesn't work out very well just because there's so much shooting at you at the same time. I think I have a dog behind me, which is very scary. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice. And now we're going to go to our third boss, which is the goat triplets. <laughs> if anyone wants to. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea behind these, oh, this is painful. Um, you have to hit them six times, but if you let them go for too long, uh, they start to regain health, and that's obviously very bad. Um, they like to shoot each other. They like to shoot at you at the same time. And again, they suffer from that. Sometimes they're goblins, and sometimes they're not. So, uh, kind of unfortunate. We're going to shoot this pup over here because uh, you did not donate for 100%. Uh, generally, we have to pet them, but uh, not this time. And I just <laughs> missed the jump. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there, there's a jump at the very end of it. Uh, we need to go to the lower staircase and then shoot the Dober Woman, which is like the boss of the level sort of thing. Um, but I missed that jump. But there we go. Nice. That's mission 16. Mission 17 is pretty cool. It's like a very uh, vertical map. So we're just climbing up these stairs. Uh, there is a speed strat. Uh, you can jump up the railings. Generally, oh, I need to die. Uh, jumping isn't very helpful. It actually kind of slows you down a little bit. But uh, for those, uh, you sort of like catch your jump halfway into it. So you go up a little faster. It doesn't save that much time, but like enough to make a difference if you're going for ILs. Uh, mission 18, pretty interesting. Uh, there's a big blimp at the very top that we need to go and blow up, so we got to work our way up to it. We're going to skip that enemy over there, and I haven't shown you this, but we do have, like, uh, aim down the scope, so I'm going to use it there just to take care of some enemies that are going to be problems later. Oh, God. There we go. And we're just going to jump out of this flaming blimp. Mission 19. Uh, can you take this one, Imiwaka? Yeah, so... This is basically the last main level. Um, he's gonna storm this building, he's gonna climb this building. This building is packed with enemies. Uh, it's actually a really brutal section. It's the safest thing to do is just stay outside and blast the guys from, from the outside. Um, fast rats <laughs> is to, to really rush in there and it's really easy to die here. After this section, he's pretty much home free. He's just gonna climb the building now with this spectacular ladder. These, <laughs> these operate so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's like there's a certain way to climb the fast where you just don't use the actual steps on the ladder, which is <laughs> goes completely against how to use a ladder. But yeah. yeah, if you jump up a couple times, you can make it up in three jumps. But if you use the steps, it's only in four. So now we're at the final boss. Well, the first part of the final boss. I'm going to try to get this, and that was perfect. Uh, so now I'm not going to take too many hits, and we are going to uh, choke the boss out. I'm going to take that hit. And now we're at the final boss. <laughs> so let's shoot these eyes out of the way. Uh, the boss is really easy if you know how to do it. Uh, I'm going to aim at one eye, uh, jump and hold left, and then land at the next eye. So you got to shoot these two eyes and then shoot the yellow eye that comes up at the top. Uh, three times. Uh, just, oh, no, I missed. Oh, no, I missed. <laughs> there we go. Nice. And that's the final boss. Uh, time's going to come up when I grab the baby. So, yeah, we're going to play a game of Get That Baby, which is going to be uh, sitting in his crib. Uh, don't look, by the way. That's not. Uh, <laughs> he's just telling us good game. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to go pick up our baby. There's a lot of lore that goes into it, but eh, yeah, we don't need that. And time. All right.
Nice run, dude. Nice. Thank nice you. Run. Uh, we generally go by IGT uh, in game time, so there's going to be a speed run time at the very end of the credits. I'm going to do some shout outs first. Uh, I guess shout out to Devolver One for making this incredible game. Terry Velman and Dose One, both fantastic. Terry Velman makes great games. Dose One makes absolutely great uh, soundtracks. Uh, the one for Enter the Gungeon is also a Dose One uh, soundtrack. Uh, anyone from the High Hell community, it's very tiny, but. Uh, you know, a lot of work's gone into it. Rookie Nam did 100%. Unfortunately, I couldn't show that off. Uh, if you go to Steam, you can actually pick up High Hell uh, pretty cheap and also as part of the Devolver uh, Games Done Quick 2018 bundle. So you can get a bunch of really cool games for pretty cheap. And I think that's it for me. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you for letting me play this game and have fun. Keep donating, keep watching people, and keep playing games. Yeah. Woo! That's a pretty good time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, everyone, that's it for me. I'm signing off. This is Arlenia, and I'm going to be passing it over to the next host. All right, hello GDQ viewers. My screen name is Covert Muffin and I'm gonna be leading on the hosting station for the next couple of runs. Wow, we are getting quite a good number of donations coming in, folks. Thank you so much for all of your generous support. We are fundraising today for Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Without Borders is a medical humanitarian organization working in more than 60 countries around the world. MSF is a private international association. MSF provides assistance to populations in distress, to victims of natural or man-made disasters, and to victims of armed conflict. They do so irrespective of race, religion, creed, or political convictions. You can find out more at doctorswithoutborders.org. All right, speaking about donations, it looks like we have $100 from Kelchin Ferret. I've donated to GDQ every event since 2015, so why stop now, especially when it's going to a worthy cause like Doctors Without Borders? This $100 goes towards the man, the myth, the legend, Pepsi Man. Yeah. And that being said, Pepsi Man is actually a bonus game. We need to raise $45,000 in order to make that happen. And I believe in you guys. We can fundraise that money to bring Pepsi Man back to a GDQ. Currently, we're at $8,600. So keep those donations coming in, folks. We have $25 from Kenny Ford that says, a quick hello from Austria. Great events so far. Looking forward for more unproductive work hours and lazy couch days. Less than three. Thanks, Kenny. Curtis184 donates $13.37, saying, Please tell us announcer's favorite Pokemon. Share that mine is Bulbasaur. Well, Curtis, I have to be quite honest with you. My favorite Pokemon is, yeah, you thought I was going to say Pikachu, right? But no, it's Pepsi Man. Definitely Pepsi Man. We have a 25 anonymous donation, $25, excuse me. And all anonymous has to say is Pepsi Man. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anonymous.
we have another $25 donation coming in from Rabid Bagel. All Rabid Bagel has to say is Pepsi Man. While our runner's getting set up for the next run, I'm going to plug some of our sponsors for the event. We have none other than the Yeti sponsoring us this year. They've been supporting Games Done Quick events since 2012. They have official merchandise sponsor for Games Done Quick. And if you would like to get your very own official SGDQ t-shirt or other merchandise, you can find those over on theyeti.com. Humble Bundle, another one of our sponsors for this year's event. Humble Bundle sells games, ebooks, and other digital content through pay what you want bundle promotions, the Humble Store, and the Humble Monthly curated subscription service. Customers choose how their payment is divided between the content creators, charity, and Humble Bundle. Over 129 million has been raised for charities across the world since 2010. You can find all of those things over on www.humblebundle.com slash monthly. We have $25 from Rathor that says, just what kind of muffin is Covert Muffin anyway? A, that is an excellent question. Let me know when you figure it out. We have $25 coming in from Oxter that says, just a big thank you to everyone who's involved in this event. Thank you, Oxter, for your donation. Speaking of which, if you end up donating $10, you will be in the run for a Batman Forever comics display, as well as a Spider-Man lithograph print. Those are two separate prizes that you could be eligible in order to win. Also, $5 will get you a Carnage Perler magnet or Spider-Man plush fabrications, or possibly a High Hell stream key. So definitely keep those donations coming in, guys. We have $25 from Foe that says, wish I could give more, but money is tight right now. GDQ marks my two favorite weeks of the year, and every time, it just keeps getting better. Here's hoping I can do a run of my own sometime soon. Greetings from a couch full of sharks. My goodness, sharks are scary. Thank you so much, Foe, and every single little bit helps. Even if it is just a little bit of money, that still is going to a good cause. So thank you so much for your donation. We have $100 from Ryujin that says, looking forward to the huge platforming block later tonight and showcasing newer titles like A Hat in Time and Celeste, donating to getting the bonus Pepsi Man run for Mike Butters. Thirst quenching everywhere and Pepsi Man! <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryujin. And yeah, we have a lot of really exciting runs coming up throughout the rest of the event. If you would like to find out when to catch your favorite speed games, head over to gamesdonequick.com slash schedule. And that schedule will automatically convert to your time zone and live update if we end up being a little bit delayed for the marathon or if our runners finish ahead of time and we set up really fast, then we could also be ahead of schedule. So definitely, definitely go to gamesdonequick.com slash schedule to keep track of when your favorite speed games are going to be featured. All right, I'm getting confirmation that our runner is ready, so I'm gonna throw it over to Ignite for Shadow Warrior Classic Redux. Good luck. Thank you. 